main event. 12 rounds of lightweight action. Great atmosphere here tonight. You talk to everybody ringside, and they expect this one to be a barn burner. And his opponent across the way, fighting out of the right corner. Bam, bam. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. Number one is now underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. Is there any advice that you can give in a matchup like this of speed versus speed, where maybe one guy can go and utilize a completely different tool, like try to be a power puncher on a given night, or do something ultra defensively that can be an advantage? Yeah, misdirection. You know, the guy's going to be real keen, both guys, because they know they have somebody who's so fast in front of them. So start one hand. He's going to be looking. He's going to react. Start the right hand. Just a little flinch of the right hand. Throw the left hand instead. Misdirection. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Now he ties up there. Jump on! Nice! Bam Bam's on the receiving end of a very good counterpunch. Let's go. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Stay away from those. Come on. End of the round here. And as I glance around ringside and look at the judges, I'm wondering what they're writing down because that was a tough round to score. Yeah, it was. And, you know, it's the kind of round where... One guy would be really smart to take a page out of the book of Sugar Ray Leonard, Marvin Hagler, where Leonard stole rounds at the end, where he just clipped off 30 seconds, and that's exactly what the judges remembered. Keep your hands moving, keep busy, and you'll beat them to the punch. underway see the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs well he goes to the gut with a right hand burns defense is now serving him well nice job blocking that punch bam bam's really in position to control things in this fight if he can do what he did just there, and that's land a good, solid jab. How about that left hand? Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Bam Bam's defense is paying off now. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Proving to be elusive. Well, you can tell he's being patient, waiting for a countering opportunity. Teddy, 
What does he have to think about in laying that trap? All he has to do is think a little bit like I do at tax season with my accountants. <laughs> I don't want to go into that office. You know, my accountant's standing at the door. He's waiting for me to come in there. I don't want, I want a rebate. And that's what he wants. He wants a rebate. He wants a counter. He's stepping back and he's waiting for the guy to come to him. So he's the one who gets his way. Bam Bam's really impressing us here, Teddy, coming off that last round. I mean, he laid down a beating to his opponent. But sometimes confidence can also be an enemy in this game. Yeah, you could get a little bit of overconfidence. You could get careless. You know, you could forget where you were earlier or forget what you knew when you were coming into the ring. Things that you had to understand as far as defensive liabilities. He has to remember that. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Burns. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Well landed that hook by Burns. Uppercut. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Burns' knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is to block. He did it there well. Very nice work from both men. They each got a shot in. A nice crisp hook after a fine defensive effort. Ten seconds to go in this round. Burns is doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. He's so fucking tired. He's got nothing left. Listen to me. I need you to double up the punch. Well, Teddy's scorecard has him up a round, but we're yet to get into the meat of the matter of this fight. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Bam Bam. Hey, you got some of that, too. Let's go. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Each man able to land an uppercut. Keep working the champ. Good, good. You're still not moving enough. Move, move. Blocks that punch. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Hey, 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 let's go! He got hit right there, but he all good, solid right hand lands. Teddy, explain this to me. Hey, this fighter was just staggered and stunned. Now, all of a sudden, he's defending beautifully. Yeah, because he's on instincts now. Before, he was thinking. He was overthinking. That happens out in life in a lot of places. And now, he's not. Now, just naturally, instinctively, survival mode is there. He's doing all the things, Joe, that he was taught in the gym. Things he couldn't do before because he was worried about doing them. He had too many things clogging his head. Those punches, move your head. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. So end of the round, a round in which he was able to get to his man there, stunned him there. He's kind of got momentum now, doesn't he, Teddy? Yeah, he does. And you know he's going to want to build on it. He doesn't want to get reckless, careless, but he's want to keep it going that way. Bam 
Bam's back. Look at him here in the start of this round. Remember, he got tagged hard in that last round. Well, that's the reward you get when you have a good camp and you get yourself in top shape. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Nice strike after catching one by Burns. Bam Bam's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Halfway through this round here. Nice! Doing great. to the end of round number five, last 10 seconds. And as this round comes to an end, Teddy, you just get the sense that at any point this fight could come to an end because it is being fought with bad intentions. Yes, these guys are not behaving like guys that are coming here thinking about going to the scorecards. They're letting everything go in every punch. Move that body. You need to move that body. Bam Bam's off to a fresh start right now. That last round, he was really shook up. But he looks to be steady on his feet here. Burns is keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure. Anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. Well-timed by Burns. He took a step back, landed the counterpunch. Exactly what he wanted to do. Halfway through round six. Keep it up. Bam Bam yeah. scoring with that right hand. protect the midsection. Bam Bam's doing what happens to many who have been hurt. Now, he was stunned in this fight earlier, and you can see him almost wishing he could put a protective shell around himself. He's just all about the defense right now. Yeah, well, right now, it's got to be all battle trying to be Tom Cruise. He's got to be an act. He's got to look for an Academy Award and stop doing that. If we can see that, his opponent can see that. He has to count his opponent, not let him know that this is what he's feeling. What a difference from corner to corner as he sits on his stool he knows that he is in complete control of this fight, peppering his opponent with power shots. Well, it's been like that all night long. Anything he throws finds a target. 
Unable to land clean by Burns. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Bam Bam. Head and body. Head Not the most body accurate line. uppercut you'll see. Get out of the way from those punches. Move your head. Double up on your punches. Halfway through the seventh round. Bam Bam's not the kind of guy that's gonna float like a butterfly at all. He's more like an elephant just camped out. And he's getting stung by a lot of bees right now from camping out. Comes right back with a shot of his own. Bam Bam's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. And the round comes to an end. That is it. That's it. I need another round like that. Just like that, all right? Let's look at Teddy's scorecard as we begin this eighth round here, and you can see that, yes, he's up, but if you've been watching this fight closely, you know that anything still can happen here. So his opponent is a real tough guy. He doesn't get discouraged. Continues to come with a fast pace, and a guy like that, you never, never count out. with the right. Put him away! Boy, I know he's not in great shape, but all of a sudden he's doing a very good job of defending himself. You know, it's a funny thing. He's fighting on instincts, and sometimes that's a good thing. You don't want to get hurt to get there, but you want to get there. Right now, he's doing things without thinking, naturally. Burns' head movement is really a factor in this fight. I mean, who would have thought it? Just one of the aspects of defense could be such a big key to this fight right now. Yeah, it is, and his opponent right now is not making adjustments. Matter of fact, he's starting to drown himself because he's going more and more head hunting, and the more he does it, the more he misses, the more frustrated he gets, the more tired he gets. He needs to make a change. Downstairs to the place that's not moving. Down to the body. You got this one. Right hand comes in by Burns. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Last 10 seconds of the eighth round. And that's the end of round eight. Burns is in dominating form here tonight. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and he's ahead on our scorecards ringside. Yeah, but don't forget, he's in the other guy's hometown. So don't let up too soon. Don't start partying too soon. You know, still keep doing the things you were doing to get you to this place. Everybody will tell you, you can't get away with that. What a big, wide-sweeping whiff that was. Well, you can get away with it if the guy doesn't want to throw back, but if this guy wants to start throwing back, then you're not getting away with it.
Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. <laughs> Halfway through the ninth round. How about a return to sender with the left hand? And now he's targeting upstairs. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Shot to the head with that right hand. Off target with that hook. Move! As we come to the end of the round, Joe and Teddy with you ringside. Teddy, that's one of those rounds where I wonder what were the judges looking for because it's tough to kind of draw a line between those two fighters. Yeah, very close, but one of those rounds where you could steal it. You did a little bit more in those last 30, 20 seconds. Maybe that's the impression the judges are left with. Come on, oh, that's good Bob. stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Bam Bam. all over the place. I mean, he's missing punches. Yeah, he's throwing punches, but he's missing just about everything he throws. Well, we look up top. You know, we look at the punches going away. They're going left, they're going right, they're going all over the place. But look downstairs. His feet are not set. He's falling all over the place. And guess what? The punches follow where his feet are. Halfway through round 10. He's tied. He's tied. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. Shot lands was a hook. What a great job! He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Bam Bam. Keep your hands up. Counting down towards the end of the tenth round. Ten seconds to go. Keep doing what you're doing. And round 10 nice comes down. to an end. That was good. Keep that up if we have this one. Where's your body work? Hit the body. We start the 11th round with a look at Teddy's scorecard. Burns down according to that scorecard. But I think you'd agree, Teddy, he's building momentum. He's chipping away. Yeah, he's caught a wave. You know, it took him a while. He had to sit out there a while, work at it. You know, he had to paddle around a little bit. But he's caught a wave, and he's riding it. And he's riding high. Looking good. Nice block by Burns. Burns is really impressing us here, defensively impressing us. I mean, it's so easy to say, wow, look at the punching, there look at the go. power. But, Teddy, you got to appreciate what he's doing with defense. Yeah, well, that's one of the reasons why you can say that you appreciate, you know, the aggression or the power and all these things. He can afford to be aggressive because he doesn't get hit. Oh, what an exchange. Halfway through this 11th round. Oh, you're doing great. So 
There you go. Unable to score with the hook. He has his target. He lands. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Let's go. Good work. And round 11 comes to an end. Bam Bam's right in this fight. Now he's trailing on the cards, at least in our opinion, but it's there for the taking. Here it is, the final round of what has been a closely contested battle. Grabbing on to his opponent. And a power shot lands, and all of a sudden it turns the tables. A little slow with that jab, and he got caught the right hand. Way through this 12th and final round. You got this one. So get that hand moving. Focus. Final minute of the final round. Nice work. Nice work. In and out. In and out. Nice block. Engages in the clinch. Got to try to do better than that. He missed with that hook. Ten seconds to go in this, the final round. Competitive throughout. Who got it? To find out, we send it up to the ring. Your winner, the Professor Burns. Burns' work was rewarded by the judges. Teddy, you had him up on your scorecard throughout the evening. The ringside judges saw the same. Yeah, just because I have it that way, I'm not always right. But this time, I thought I was, and the judges happened to agree. Let's